Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths, Weird and Wonderful. And joy oh joy, uh, there's a bunch of weird and wonderfuls that are coming because there's a bunch of, well, weird and wonderful uh, giant ships that have been put on the workshop recently. Like, I can scarcely contain the time uh, to review all of them. That's a weird way of saying that. Basically, expect a lot of giant ships because there's a few giant ships. And uh, I have no idea if it's because I uh, did a review on uh, the BBS fifth season uh, by Bungalow Bill, which was a smash hit video and a smash hit craft, and I love that thing. Uh, but a bunch of people, and because I specifically request in that video, is like, if you have a craft or know of a craft that can take the BBS fifth season on, please share. A bunch of people shared, and one of uh, the people who shared their stuff is AAS Felix who has shared the AAS Normandy, which is the thing you're looking at right now, which is huge. So, uh, back in the day, uh, I, like in the ye olde days of Subscribercraft Review, like you get a cookie if you remember that, and no, I'm not starting that up again, don't even ask. Um, there was a strict block limit because of what my PC could handle, but I'm, surprise, surprise, my uh, PC's new CPU cooler, uh, I think has given me a bit of a bonus in like spawning in huge craft because this thing is gigantic it's like just shy of 60,000 blocks it is even bigger it's actually quite a bit bigger uh, than uh, the battleship I'm working on which is the Titan Slung so this thing's big and so it is a giant thing made mostly out of wood because it is a design philosophy that actually works pretty well which is just block span you make a giant thing doesn't matter, it's made out of wood. It's just so big that it's, you know, hard to kill because there's so many blocks. And I like this thing. This is kind of a, you know, an example of that, yes, wooden canoes, because, by the way, this is pretty canoe-shaped. I'm not the only one who does it. Thank goodness. I'd think I'd have a much more serious problem than I actually do if I was the only one to do it. But in any case, a giant wooden canoe, and it kicks uh, no small amount of arts. It can beat the Megalodon, and it is cheaper. It is bigger. It's quite a bit bigger. Um, and it uh, apparently can take on the BBS fifth season and so we're just gonna do a quick run out of the internal so this thing is well it takes a long time to shrink all the blocks it is mostly wood so this is reinforced wood backed by alloy uh, which uh, given uh, like uh, recent armor experiments I've done is a uh, like reinforced wood uh, well it's kind of not good but then again this thing has like so this is probably one of the reasons for the extremely high block count is that this thing spams wood like no one's business the entire bow is solid wood and, and it has a layer of era in here so those uh super powerful pen depth shells uh can't well they had get stopped here first um another reason for the block count is because if you use era like this deacon's hell it really just uh it really adds up and just wood spam, so lots of cheap, uh, cheap hit points. Uh, it doesn't do the kind of uh, ERA staggering thing, which I've found uh, a number of workshop craft I've looked at uh, recently do this. And I don't know... I think it might just be a thing running through the community at the moment, because uh, people have kind of figured it out, like, uh, that that's a smart way to do it. Uh, I don't think it's because I showed it off in a Battleship Diary, like, I don't know. Not everyone watches me videos. Uh, but yeah, so it doesn't do that, so uh, 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 so Felix, like uh, that's something to keep in mind, I guess. Uh, layers of metal out here, but it's very much hit point heavy armor. Uh, so this is specifically counted for kind of like end game stuff. Uh, giant rail guns, which rely, which just have too much armor penetration to really be stopped by metal anyway. So yeah, inner citadel of metal. It's got what do we got here? We got some uh, we got some batteries. Uh, we got giant ass crams. These uh, these crams are quite big. Uh, let's see here. That looks like yeah, that is standard diamond tetras, which is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with standard diamond. Uh, yeah, interesting stuff going on with the top layer and its quad crams. So uh, let's just unshrink the blocks and then uh, make them vanish, so we can see the bits. So yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a pretty, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, um, not master level cram tetris, but goodness knows, like, the amount of people who, like, do master level cram tetris, you can count on the fingers of one foot, and no, that does not include me. 
Uh, what else have we got? We got we got giant steam props. These are actually quite clever, actually. I I guess like this is where it's like really handy to have a giant ship because you can just kind of do this stuff. What the hell am I looking at? <gasps> oh my god! I never thought of this. I never thought of it. This. this is how you get you can get extra power into these things by by stacking the. <gasps> I learned something, guys! I learned something. <coughs> I'm allergic to learning, apparently. Alright, so it's got multiple small rudders. Uh, the force on these doesn't stack, so we'll just call that redundancy. Man, and it's got... What has it got here? It's got torpedo interceptors, by the looks of it. More batteries. Giant cram. Uh, yep, so it's got some spare GPPPPP over there. Giant cram. ERA layers. Lots of surge protectors, like surge protectors plus all this wood, yeah, uh, very much uh, EMP sync. So it's got uh, little repair bots there, there's one of the AIs, which one is that? That's just AA Seawiz, and it's got giant steam engines, gigantic steam engines. Uh, let's see here, where's that, where's that crankshaft? Let's see here, Mars gearbox, let's have a look at the power of material burn, is uh... 334, which isn't great. Um, I've yet to record that video, but uh, someone uh, gifted me a steam engine the other day which has like 594 power per material burn, so uh, this isn't the most efficient steam engine in the world, but who am I to judge? I am rubbish with steam, uh, which is evidenced by the fact that I... Well, no, 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 I, I take that back. I was about to say the fact I had to ask for help uh, with steam is a sign that I suck, but no, it's not. It's a sign of being sensible. Do seek help. Like, even if you're good at stuff, seek help. You never know. You never know. So, right, so here's the main... The main main frame? What is this? Shield drives. Yep, and... Will force hatches to open? What are you do What are you doing? Uh, you are selecting missile systems. What hatches, exactly? Uh, we've got a varying rangefinder up there. More crams in the front. Uh, very much a... This is very much a thing. Let's see here. There's no hatches there, so I'm not sure that's what to... Lots of redundant rudders. Lots and lots of redundant rudders. And lots of turning. I guess it makes sense that you'd want redundant rudders on something that's main defense is, well, redundancy. Um, but yeah, by the looks of it, maybe it's these hatches. What is this? No, no, it's controlled by SeaWiz. Should be fine. It's got a little SeaWiz stuff. It's got munition warners here, little 360 radar on the front. Let's go have a look at the superstructure. Takes a long time to travel down this thing. Shield projectors here, there, and everywhere. It's got, oh, look at that tiny, teeny, tiny little particle cannons. Let's have a look at this. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing this is overclocked by two. Yeah, so energy per shot, it's set to EMP, so not amazing, but yeah, that's super tiny, super compact, look at this, look at this, 360 turret elevation only, wow, I should, uh, I'm learning multiple things off here, it didn't actually occur to me to do this, that you can just make such tiny little particle hands, great, uh, what else is here, we've got some uh, secondary guns just up here, uh, more interceptor turrets, more spare sensors, so yeah, this is just a big redundant thing, which is the, kind of the right way to do giant craft now, think about it. It's just like, since they're big, have redundancy. Uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket, as I tend to do with, like, giant canoes that just have one big turret. I've done that multiple times. Uh, so yeah, so, a brief overview of the innards of this thing. So now let's go chuck it against uh, some stuff, just to show it off. Uh, and I'll see you in the battle setup menu uh, against the fifth season. Let's go do that. Okay, so here we are in the battle setup, and as you can see, uh, the uh, the BBS fifth season is over here. It's about 1.4 million materials and about 33,000 blocks, and in the Normandy is cheaper. So one point, so 118,000 materials, roughly. No, no, 100, uh, one, wait, 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 no, one point, about 1.2 million, but about 60,000 blocks. So. It's uh, compactness railguns versus giant wood thing with crams. And I should mention, I have tested these two against each other before. Um, and the Normandy did not win, uh, which is apparently not how uh, Felix, um, not how it went when Felix tested it. And so, um, I believe it's been updated. I probably should have checked that before I started recording. 
Uh, but here we are. Interesting to see what, uh, what spawns in first. Oh, that spawns in first. Cram spawn in first, I guess. Uh, thank goodness for binoculars. So let's just get these two rolling and hopefully my machine doesn't lag to pieces. So the BBS 5th season is actually kind of vulnerable to crams. It doesn't have great defenses against them because it's kind of slow. Um, but yeah, these two are pretty evenly matched. Like, um, two kind of very different uh, design philosophies. One of them is essentially a... Not exactly a glass cannon, but... Um, you know, just, you know, it's focusing heavily on firepower and... Uh, the other is focusing kind of on just size and redundancy. So the AS, uh, the Normandy is copying it uh, a little bit more. But uh, those crams are actually pretty strong. So let's see here, where's that going? Uh, it's going right in there. And I think it's a mixture of crams a little bit. I think there's EMP in there. And, uh, like, yeah, I completely missed the little Seawiz guns. I think actually, yeah, those yeah, the sea was isn't bad. It's not great either. I don't. Th yeah, the Normandy doesn't have any lambs, um, which is kind of what you really want with giant APS shells that are coming at you. And there are the mortars on the fifth season, which are really easy to forget about, but um, uh, underestimate the mental peril. Also, low freeboard on the Normandy is actually uh, very handy for um, for uh, dealing with stuff. For dodging shells, I mean, uh, because uh, because it means that a lot of APS shells just kind of bounce over the top of her, and she is winning right now. She has a huge block count advantage, so it'd be a little bit uh, disappointing if she didn't. And yeah, so there's that main turret. She's uh, look, that's I'm not sure if it's disabled because these are pretty heavily armored turrets. Not yeah, so those wedges in there and all that stuff. And uh, I do believe that railgun components are vulnerable to EMP, so that rear turret is probably not doing super well. So yeah, the, the fact my PC can actually deal with these two shooting at each other is actually quite impressive. You just gotta keep the cram cannon safe and you'll be fine. I did actually test uh, at one point, I think it was on stream, e uh, AP EMP crams and it didn't work very well. Um, I'm wondering if the AAS Normandy manages to make them work because I am seeing EMP jolts. Yeah, I am seeing it. Uh, EMP jolts come off. Maybe the trick is to mix it with a little bit of HE just to, just to spice things up. Now, uh, now the Normandy's winning again. Let's see, how are you doing? Looks like all turrets are still firing. And being a great big narrow thing means that the mortars are missing, so that's nice, 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 nice. And let's go over here. I'm going to just uh, use my binoculars because that's clever. So yeah, these these two are really evenly matched, and I like it. And I do like I like both of them really. The Normandy, I when I, I have to admit, when I first spawned it in and looked at it, I thought like, oh jeez, this is just relying on sheer size. But no, it's a sheer size, and there's a bit of clever stuff in there as well, which I like. Uh, which just goes to show you that if you want to make a really good big thing, like it pays to, well, make a good thing. Know how to make good thing before you make good big thing. Although I guess if you just don't know how to make good thing yet, like you can just make big thing and it will do better, I suppose. I don't know. That thought was going somewhere. Alright, so here is where I believe uh, when I first tested these two against each other, uh, the uh, the Normandy was starting to cop it because this is uh, now at kind of a long range to each other. Let's check the map. Let's see. How far? Let's, so that's four kilometers. They're about two kilometers away from each other right now. And so uh, rail guns are kind of uh, kind of do have the advantage at this point. Yeah, the Normandy is copying it. So uh, still a pretty good. Still, she's metal. I think lasting longer than the what do you call it? 
I think the Star Slung Mark II lasted seven minutes and just got her ass beat, so, uh... The fact that it is a hit points race non-stop. Alright, let's go, let's go actually have a look-see at the Normandy. Let's see how she's holding up. I think they uh, layering ERA like she does, or rather just having a single flat layer of ERA, uh, might be what's uh, causing her to lose blocks a lot, because uh, once um, an APHE uh, round kind of goes through it, it's like, kind of makes a mess. Also, those mortars uh, on the uh, fifth season are kind of strong, so... Yeah, the shields are actually doing something for once. Whenever I use shields, they're never this good. That's just a fact. Yeah. Yep, all four cram turrets are doing absolutely A-OK. -okay. All that redundancy is uh, doing very nice. Very nice indeed. Normandy still is uh, losing right now, though. I bet you didn't expect Weird and Wonderful to just turn into let's watch these two craft fight, eh? Yeah. Jeez, but those railguns are strong. They're so damn strong. It is interesting, though, that a lot of those shells are just, like, over-penetrating because, well, it's freaking wood. So what do you expect? Let's, uh, let's chill with the Normandy for a second. It could actually take a while for these two to, uh, fully kill each other, so... Yeah, man... It is just great fun. This, I guess this is one of the appeal, uh, one of the appeals of tournaments for people. It's just, you get to see, you know, craft of all sizes and shapes and different design philosophies and different building habits go against each other. And it's just really nice and really cool to see. Yeah. In case anyone's wondering, I have not tested uh, the Titan Slung against the fifth season. I'm saving that. Uh... For, uh, for a recording. So yeah, that'd be fun. That'll be fun, fun, fun. Fun, 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 fun. Indeed. Might actually be completely separate from Battleship Diary, I think. Okay. Alright, so yeah, this is uh, consistent with what happened. I'm not sure what Felix is doing differently in testing. Uh, maybe they're starting with Broadside. Um, rather than having them face off first. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, it's like the Normandy. This is going pretty much uh, how it was going last time. It's just uh, the Normandy is starting to lose out. Starting to lose that hit point lead. Although the uh, the fifth season really doesn't have uh, really any defense against Cram Cannon. So, yeah, that's a whole sheath of ERA that's uh, just got knocked off. Yeah, the Normandy just lost a chunk of blocks. What happened here? Is Weird and Wonderful just going to be turning into a series of, like, what can beat the fifth season? Uh, which I don't mind at all, because I love the fifth season. It's a, it's a great ship, I love it. Totally gonna steal, um, totally gonna steal the railguns uh, off it. Yeah, I think the crams have had a Holes poked in him, I think. I think that... Well, yeah, the, I think also the Normandy is repairing quite quickly. Uh, which is not good news for the fifth season. I thought I think the fifth season has repair bots as well. Whee! Mortar's missing. Alright, let's go have a look at the fifth season again. How's she doing? Um, she's been hitting both turrets quite a bit, but... Um, aha! Is that missing a bunch? It is missing a bunch. Yeah, a lot of those crams are... Well, for one thing, they don't have nearly the packing that they used to. Uh, so they're not doing as much damage. Also, they're missing a lot. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's like, um... Fifth season has a hit point lead. Uh, but the the Normandy, like... Just has a greater percentage of its firepower still intact. Although she keeps missing, so... 
that doesn't really uh, do a hell of a lot for a firepower. Yeah, like, you know, having more, having more guns doesn't really help uh, if they miss more. Although, by the looks of it, the fifth season is actually going to run on materials first. Which is a problem. Yeah, being low slung is a good defense in general, actually. Because if you look at it from this angle, the fifth season actually does not have uh, a lot of blocks uh, above water. This is generally a good idea if you want to design a tanky ship, by the way. It's just, uh... See? They just kind of whiff. Although, by the looks of it, yeah, scratch one mortar on the fifth season. This is a close fight. This is kind of close. Has she stopped firing? She has. She has stopped firing. Interesting. She might have got hit in the ammo customizer and just run out of uh, shells. Or maybe the detection is shot. Hey, looks, look at that. I think the Normandy is going to claw it back. Um, let's, uh, let's speed up time, because it looks like, yeah, the fifth season isn't really... isn't really doing it anymore. Gonna have to mess with AP, uh, AP, AMP crams once again, because last time I did it didn't work very well at all. Okay, so... quite some time later. Uh, the BBS fifth season has just dropped below 80% health, whereas the Normandy has almost repaired herself back up to 90% health, and the BBS fifth season has not fired a single shot in a very long time, so I'm gonna call it here, declare the Normandy the winner. Sure, it's taken a really long time for her to kill the fifth season, but, you know, I think killing the fifth season is a bit of an accomplishment, uh, no matter what, and... Let's face it, like, you know, she, this ch craft might be bigger, but it is cheaper. So, let that be a lesson to any doubters. It is possible to make a wooden cram canoe uh, that uh, can do incredible things. So, that does it for this uh, weird and wonderful. And, yeah, stay tuned for more giant battleships, because I've got a few in the folder that are definitely worth having a look at uh, over the next few days? Weeks? Let's say weeks. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and thank you AAS Felix uh, for making this big beautiful wooden uh, cram canoe kind of thing. I for one certainly appreciate it. Thank you and farewell. <laughs>